Hi again. Here's our second story of the day. Splat the cat. Oopsie daisy. One of my favorites, especially during this time when we start planting and doing all this fun stuff. So there's Splat. He's so cute with Seymour. Here we go. And there's stickers along inside of this book. When we see each other again, I will be passing them out for sure. Okay, dedication to Chloe. Welcome to the world. Splat the cat, oopsie daisy. It was almost springtime. The weather was getting warmer, but the sky was still gray and rainy. Splat thought being stuck inside was a waste of a Saturday afternoon. Splat perked up when a sopping wet Seymour scurried into his room. Seymour was carrying a weird looking seed. Where did you get that? asked Splat. Seymour held up the seed and stared at it. Then he shrugged again. I wonder what kind of seed it is, said Splat. It could be anything. I the illustrations. Well, there's only one way to solve this mystery, Seymour. Let's see if we can make it grow. I think we need to plant it first, Splat said, but I've never planted anything before. Do you know how to plant a seed? Cat school, library, that's where they're headed. Okay, then let's go to the library to find out, Splat announced. Splat and Seymour walked straight to the library to look for a book about gardening. The only problem was that there was so much information. Splat wanted to grow one seed, not a whole field or corn. After staring at the shelves for a long time, Splat finally asked the librarian. She was happy to help him find the perfect book. And it says A Cat's Guide to Plants and Potting by Jack Tabby. That's funny, that's a type of cat. The book said the first step was getting a pot of, and filling it with soil. Not all the soil landed in the pot. Uh-oh, splat. And there are the stickers. Next, splat planted the seed in the dirt. He set the flower pot on a sunny windowsill. Then he watered the soil. Not all the water went into the pot. Windowsill. It's a compound word. Splat checked the flower pot. Ooh, another compound word. Every day. He hoped and hoped for any sign of, of a sprout. He wondered what kind of plant it would be. Maybe the seed would grow into a wild garden of roses. Or maybe the seed would grow into a tree as tall as the sky. His face. And I hope you're predicting what you think the seed will become. So take a minute and think about that. Splat couldn't wait to see what grew. He sang to the seed. He read to the seed and told it stories. For two whole weeks, Splat waited and waited for the seed to do something days, two weeks. Poor guy. Splat was ready to give up. Maybe the seed would never sprout. Feeling terribly disappointed, he watered the soil one last time, just in case. The dirt in the pot shifted a little. When Splat added water, a tiny green sprout sprang up. Splat cheered loudly, but quickly shut his mouth. He didn't want to scare the little plant back into the soil. Could that happen? Funny. Oh, look at that. He's... How much it's grown. I love that. During the next week, the sprout grew a few straggly leaves. Splat was thrilled when a few days later, a little bud appeared atop the stem. The next day, the bud opened and bloom bl and a bloom blossomed. It wasn't a wild jungle plant or many colored rose or a tall, tall tree. It was a flower, a little daisy, 
and Splat knew just who to give it to. Who do you think he's going to give it to? I love it, said Mom. It's the most special flower ever. Splat smiled as he hugged his mother. I grew it myself, said Splat, with a little help from Seymour. Sweet thing. Well, I hope your predictions were close, but if they weren't, you know that's okay too. Remember, good readers are active thinkers. I hope you enjoyed this story. Again, Splat the Cat, Oopsie Daisy. Go ahead. Do your best. I love you and miss you so much.